All right, welcome back everybody. This is Eric here with Moss Pawn and Gun. Uh, we're down here at Big Three East in Daytona Beach, Florida. This is a really cool event that gets put on a couple of times a year. It's a chance for uh, writers, bloggers, video guys to come down, get their hands on new products that are out. And uh, it's put on by Wolf. You know, the guys make ammunition, Wolf. And uh, we're here at the Geisley booth hanging out and we're gonna be showing off a few of their uh, triggers that they've got uh, that are new. Uh, they've got the new AK trigger that you guys are, know they're coming out with uh, later on in the year here. Probably around the middle of the year they'll be hitting the shelves and they're, you know, like we mentioned a SHOT Show, priced very reasonably. Uh, so we are going to shoot their little 74 there a little bit. Uh, the gun I'm holding here, I've got a Tavor, so 16 and a half inch. Uh, they've got their trigger bow that they make for it now, like we mentioned, and the trigger pack itself, the Sabra uh, trigger pack. This is a wonderful gun. This uh, particular Tavor is actually... Uh, Hold your breath, guys. I bought a Tavor. So this is my little Tavor uh, we've got set up. The optic that's on it is an Armacite Zeus Thermal. Uh, we are going to be recording some video of the thermal in action for you. Very, very awesome sight. Uh, this particular rig, of course, uh, how can a gun guy not be happy to be holding this rig right now? So we're going to shoot it a little bit for you. Uh, the triggers on these Tavors with the Geisler trigger, they, they break nice and light. They are adjustable. Uh, from the factory, they're going to break or, you know, anywhere in the around two and a half to three pound, three and a half pound range, but they can be adjusted with a wide range of, uh, of brake weights. Uh, the trigger bow, of course, I believe is a vast improvement over the factory one. Uh, so let's shoot this thing. So guys, uh, eventually we are going to be doing a full review on this uh, particular rig here. Um, I just picked this Tavor up, picked one up recently. Uh, so expect a full review on this. And of course, we'll talk a little bit more in detail about the Geisley trigger in the video when we do the full one. So uh, be looking out for that. But certainly a nice rig. I just want to kind of show that off. Just kind of quick and dirty there. Uh, we are going to shoot their AK here. All right, we got a little Vortex spark on there. Uh, now this particular uh, rifle has had probably at least 30 to 35,000 rounds put through it, if not more. And uh, this little ALG uh, AK trigger has uh, been put through its paces pretty hard. And I have shot this rifle, but I'm certainly not going to uh, turn down a chance to shoot it some more. Uh, the triggers are going to go out under the ALG line. So when I was at SHOT Show, I mentioned that it was a Geisley product, and, and yes, I, I suppose it sort of is, but uh, the ALG line, as many of you know, is a line that is meant to be not necessarily lower cost or, or lower quality, but just a, a, a competitively priced product uh, that average folk can afford. And uh, they wanted the price of the ALG uh, AK trigger to be indicative of uh, what an AK owner would be willing to spend on their rifle. I mean. Uh, an AK owner ain't going to drop a $250, $300 trigger in an AK. They're going to want to drop a $50 or $60 or maybe a $90 trigger tops. So uh, it keeps the cost of the trigger nice and reasonable. Anyway, let's shoot it. Most of 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, guys, that target down there has got one of those little swinging centers in it. And uh, that trigger, well, I'm sure the AK is helping a lot because that's a very high quality uh, rifle there. Uh, but that little swinger in there is short work. You can put them in center mass and that trigger breaks nice and clean. Uh, one thing that you guys obviously are not going to be able to tell in the video, the weight of this particular trigger is very, very light. This one's a prototype. Uh, the factory trigger, from what I've been told, once it does drop, uh, they're probably going to break around three pound range, three and a half, but I, I, I did hear also that some of them, they, they're not sure. I think they're still kind of working on that, so don't take this to heart, guys, because I'm not, you know, I, I'm not trying to <laughs> step on toes there, but uh, around the five pound range, maybe three and a half, it's going to be somewhere in that, that ballpark once they finally uh, get the prototype finished out and they're ready for production. So uh, if I'm not mistaken, they are going to be offering an adjustable version, so, you know, that way you can set it up how you want. So uh, we're going to grab a few more guns. They got some neat things going on and uh, show you some other stuff here. All right, guys, another product from ALG Defense. Uh, this is a product that I didn't have a chance to really discuss in full detail when we were at the uh, media day at the range at, at SHOT Show. Uh, we just didn't really have the time, but this is their six second mount for the Glock. Uh, this is Glock 17 and it's set up with uh, one of the little aim point micros on it. Very good quality little setup here. You can see how it mounts. Uh, we'll do some more work with it, but a uh, quick little backstory about this particular unit is that it was actually developed for a group of uh, anti-terrorist uh, group, and basically uh, what they wanted was a gun that they could use for linear combat, and they could transition and use a sidearm as a primary firearm uh, in an environment like that. You're talking fuselages, uh, airplanes, uh, you know, they're clearing out a, you know, a bus or something or a hallway, something where they're in a very linear environment. They wanted a Glock with a red dot that they could really get precise with and, uh, and also the rapid acquisition. Uh, with, when you have this red dot really far up on the end of the gun like this, it just, it points so naturally. So I'm going to shoot it a little bit for you and then uh, we will probably be doing a full review on this at some point. And uh, just a little tidbit here, I, I am going to put in a Form 1 on uh, like a 17L or a 34, we're going to make an SBR with a stock. That way we can see exactly uh, how accurate this little thing can be. So this is their gun. Um, it's had several thousand rounds put through it in the last few days, but we're going to shoot it some. And uh, we're just going to run some of the wolf ammo here that they provided. Let's see how it shoots. One thing I noticed is that it, it, it just really comes up in points, you know, very, very naturally. So we're shooting kind of a, a long way here, but let's see how it does. Try that little swinger way down there. I know it's kind of far away. Let's see if I can nail him. It's kind of tiny. Not too bad. Tell you what, we're going to try our little uh, target down there. It's got the little swinger in the middle. Let's just kind of see where this thing's going, you know, maybe center mass. I don't know. It's, it's a long way. I mean, normally pistols 15 yards or so, but this does kind of extend the practical range of a handgun, which is kind of nice. So, see how it does there. Look at that, right in the center.
just to the left of him. All right, we gotta try our big green one in the center there. Certainly not bad, and I really like that little ALG uh, Magwell too. I just noticed that, that that's a product they make as well. And that Magwell really helps those mags get in there quick on the mag change. Um, certainly a cool product. We're going to move on and show you a couple of other things they're making too. Um, I've just been really excited. I guess I'm kind of a fanboy with guys like because they've just got some great things going on, and they're a great company, good people, um, good engineering, coming up with engineering that fills a need, fulfills a need, and uh, to me that's. The practicality involved is, is very important to me. I, I think that's really, really cool. I can't wait to SBR one of these and we're going to do some more work with it. So stay tuned for that. We're going to grab a few other toys here. All right, guys, so one last gun. We've got the SCAR 16S with their Super SCAR trigger in it. Now, guys, I know it's hard for you guys on video there to tell what's going on. I mean, we're talking about triggers and I'm the one getting to have all the fun here, but uh, I can promise you this trigger is the bee's knees. Um, I've got one of my SCAR 17. Uh, we will be doing a full review on my SCAR 17 very soon, okay? Uh, this is the, the light, basically. It's a 556 SCAR. Uh, the heavy is a 308. Uh, so the one we'll be doing a video with is a 308. But here we got a light. Let's go ahead and run it some. A lot of folks have a love-hate relationship with this rifle. Some people love it. Some people hate it. I prefer the heavy, the 308, because the weight is very similar and you got a powerhouse 308 in your hands. But at any rate, let's shoot it. Oh yeah, I'll tell you what, no matter what you think of this rifle, you know, don't, don't develop your opinion on the light until you shoot it. I was one of those kind of guys that at one point, I, you know, I was, I was in that camp, you know, I didn't really like the light so much, but uh, Brandy, my wife, you know, she really likes uh, the Scar Light because of the weight and everything. Uh, may have to consider picking one up, I'm, I'm really more of a fan of the heavy, but uh, no matter how you cut it, that, that Super Scar, that trigger is great. So uh, guys, we're going to move on today. We appreciate you watching this uh, video. Uh, we have much more coverage with Big 3 East uh, coming out soon. And I do want to thank Wolf, you know, because those guys have uh, ponied up on quite a bit of ammunition for today's shooting. And uh, it's been a, been a fun event. I've, I've been treated with a lot of hospitality here. A lot of folks uh, very nice down here. And uh, we hope that we'll be invited out to more of these. But Stay tuned, guys. Many more videos on the way. Um, kind of hot out here, a lot going on, but I got some cool stuff to show you, so stay tuned. We'll catch you next time.